Well, here I am over at my neighbor Rob's house. Oh. And uh, apparently he's going to grow the Dennis channel on YouTube here <laughs> by uh, pushing this beautiful forerunner off a cliff. No, wait, what are we doing? <laughs> We got a dent or something back no, there? No, no dent, just some okay. ru rust on this piece, ah. which comes off on the passenger, or the driver's side back left piece, which you can tell I put tape on it over the years. That's a nice tape job there. But um, decided to actually so that's, uh, swap that, it out. That's not plastic. It's not plastic, that's it's not uh, the third generation Forerunners. Uh, from 98 okay. to 2002 have the same bumpers ah. and this piece supposedly can come off okay and you said as far as you know this is not on youtube i have looked everywhere because <laughs> i wanted to make it easy <laughs> but there was a couple of um discussion threads on it but nobody actually says one person said it's welded to the, the oh other welded so oh, that was boy. not what i wanted to hear but <laughs> Most people says a DIY project that uh, just a few things can be taken off. Okay. Well, Here's we'll, the new piece. We'll find out. And we are both consumers of YouTube, so this is our chance to give back in a way that has not been done before, I guess. Absolutely. <laughs> so, we will uh, check back. Oh, wait. Let's look at the new piece. Here's the new piece. Oh, look at that. Well, that is really helpful because it tells us where the bolt should be. Right. <laughs> In theory, if this is a good... So, okay, that's replica. indeed metal. And there's one over there in that corner. Oh, and there's a nice little bracket back there. That one, and apparently the and, flaps uh, go over there. Oh, that's the mud flap attachment, huh? Yeah. And then uh, one down there, and probably, probably one over here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay, well, we'll get to it here. Hopefully this will help somebody. Alright, All right, we're back already. We got the uh, lift gate open and decided that uh, this plastic piece here, I don't know what you'd call it, the threshold for the cargo bay, a valence for the back, whatever, something. It just has little gray plastic little clips that I'm going to go underneath there and squeeze. Wow, Rob just pulls up on that with his hand and it should, we should be able to pop that right off. And going on should be a one person job. So we'll see. And then the next step will be to remove the three fasteners here, which look like 10 millimeter maybe. And take that mud flap off. We hear 10 and 12 is real popular millimeter wrenches. So we'll see. And then the new part, Give it a shout out for that. There's the part number. And we got it, you got it from where? Carparts.com. Carparts.com. There's a shout out. Woohoo! 30 yeah. bucks off. So far, so good. It fits. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, after pulling out most of Ocean Shores, <laughs> the sand and debris. Um, we did uh, three of the clips here, and uh, maybe you can see one of them here, what they look like. Let's see here, Rob, you want to lift that up a little bit? There we go. Let's see, focus. i get my finger on it. That little guy right there, you just pinch that. And we did the, the first three. So there's one here, and one back here. Let's see, there you can see my finger. And then one underneath right there. Sorry for my bad filming. And that exposes. The reason you do that is so you can get in right here is a 12 millimeter bolt. That's the tricky one. And then there's one underneath here. <coughs> Pan back so you see where we're at. Right here is number two. And then that's it for the, the aft end of it, it looks. And then on the forward end, we removed the three 10, 10 millimeter bolts for the mud flap. And it was yeah, it was 10 for the mud flap. And uh, there's a 12 sitting right here, comes in from underneath. And that's the upper bolt. 
number three of four. And then the fourth one is right here. And when you take the bud flap off, that exposes that guy. So, total of four 12 millimeter, 12 millimeter bolts hold this piece on. Three 10 millimeters hold the mud flap on. And the little valence here is just those plastic clips which you can squeeze. And if you don't have a buddy, you might be able to just pull up on it hard and uh, they may not break. <laughs> Take your own risk. <laughs> had some uh, decent success we got the uh, lower one loosened up here and that'll come out this upper one was pretty frozen on there but uh, we put some heat and some PB blaster on there and then Rob had the brilliant idea to put a wrench on the uh, welded nut side because when I was putting a lot of torque on the head of the bolt it was bending all this structure but with him holding the uh, backside of the nut there that worked and it broke free so we've got this one out and that one ready to come out and the two back here with some heat and blaster we got the lower one out this upper one the head is so rusty the head rounded off so we're gonna I have a an angle grinder so we're just gonna make an inspection port here and then cut the bracket that's part of the bumper and this will fall away. So, we'll see you in a few minutes. There is the, uh, the old one. All rusty. And you can see we, uh, we did some uh, surgery there. Cut that big hole out so we could get access to this and cut that bracket off. And uh, that's how we got that end off. And I believe all the other, the other three bolts we got out. Yep. So, yeah, that is uh, that item needs to go. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> We got that off with the with the whiz wheel no problem so now you can get a better access so this bracket here which uh, bolts on here and here and one underneath here I guess these brackets are replaceable but this is the that's the upper bolt here and it just slides through and goes into a, a welded on nut on the new piece and then um, the bolt goes through the new bumper and into this this nut that's welded onto this bracket And those are the two forward 12 millimeter bolts. Let me get that light out of your eyes And then the aft two are here. This is one bolt slides through head on this side Goes into the captive nut on the new bumper and then there's the nut welded on here on this rear bumper for the, the lower bolt so our bolts are shot, obviously, so we're going to go run down to the hardware store and pick up some new, new, four new bolts for that and maybe the three or four for the mud flap too. So, and maybe some spray for the rust we see here. Other than that, uh, I wouldn't put it back on the way we took it off. <laughs> <laughs> back we went to the hardware store and we got some uh, m6 1.0s 20 millimeter length for the fenders we got four of those and then we've got some little washers to go on there and then a little bit bigger washer because you'll see that uh, the fender bolt there has as a little washer and then a, a bigger kind of fender washer so we're kind of imitating the same thing there and then we got some m8 1.25s here and probably 20 millimeter would be good enough length these are a little long but they didn't have that so we got a little longer ones but i'm sure they work and then the m8 washers to go with those and we also got some 
Loctite rust neutralizer to, to spread on the uh, rusty sections. And I've used this product before, it's pretty good. So with that, I think we'll uh, spray this with some rust neutralizer and then uh, fit it on there and bolt her up. All right, we'll show you the... We're back. There it is. All done and shiny. Looky there. Mud flaps on. Body lines look good. Is the customer happy? Absolutely. <laughs> and I couldn't find any way to do this on YouTube, but now there is. Now there Thanks is. Thanks to Dennis. <laughs> Be shortly uploaded later today, maybe. Adios, folks. Enjoy. God bless.